You know, it's been said that our intuition actually acts as a uh, personal guidance system. And it's when on point, it actually can lead us to the right choices in life, love, as well as our personal well-being. Joining us now with more on diving into our intuition is psychic therapist and spiritual teacher, Vincent Jenna. Vincent, welcome back to Daily Flash. We love having you on. For those that might not know, explain quickly what a psychic therapist actually is and does. Well, I get to see the past, present, and future of anybody's life as well as the world. And so as a therapist, I have my psychotherapy degree too. So I put those together and I'm both psychic and psycho. Hey, uh, <laughs> and you have the best attitude ever. We love it. Let's start off obviously with the basics. Tell us what intuition is. Is it more than just you know, like a gut feeling? We always say that like, man, I knew my gut. I should have done this. Is that what intuition is? Well, that's where you feel it because it comes through oh, your solar okay. plexus in actuality. But every single human has intuition. Actually, we had intuition before we were human as spirits, as souls. Our intuition is what connects us to all the answers, all the collective unconscious mind as Carl Jung coined it. So it guides us, yes, in its absolute, we always have it. And Mitch, guess what? Yeah. It's always on point. It's the left brain thinking that gets in the way of it. I see. I'm a Libra, so I think things out too much, and that's the problem. Like, I get to a stop sign, it's left and right. So, uh, you know, obviously, we all want to live our best life. How can that intuition right. actually, well, help us do that? Uh, without a doubt, Mitch. Now, now, here is the thing. Everybody can develop their intuition. I, as a, a psychic, have developed my intuition to a higher level, and I pay attention and listen to it. It's that inner voice. It's that inner knowing. It's even coming to us visually, that inner ear that our brain has. It hears things, and it's that little whisper in, in the ear. You know when you're driving down the road, and you just, you're not paying attention, really. Mm -hmm. You're just driving automatically, and all of a sudden, something tells you to look to the right, and there's a car coming over to the side, and you go, whoa, oh, man, it's a good thing that I looked over there. Well, that was your intuition quickly speaking to you to tell you to watch out for danger ahead. And now you can actually guide your intuition with directed questions, Mitch. And if we just take the time to listen, everybody would hear their intuition better. But you know what winds up happening? What's that? So let's say, let's say I'm getting ready to go to a party tonight, right? And I just get this inner feeling that I really shouldn't go. And maybe I'm hesitant and I'm going, you know what, instead of going to the party, I wanted to go. I'm supposed to stop there with that feeling, but no, then the left brain kicks in and turns around and says, no, that's silly. Go to the party. That's okay. You're going to have a blast. So now I'm at the party. There's a little ruckus going on. <laughs> a couple of people get into a little fight or something and fall down on the table. The table falls down on me. I break my <laughs> leg. I walk out of there saying, oh, I'm always the hell so of unlucky. Night. <laughs> why, why does that always happen to me? But meanwhile, I was being told to do something else rather than to go there or to go down this road instead of that road to avoid a car accident in the head. All of those things happen 24-7. Even in your sleep, you're getting intuitive thoughts okay. in your dreams, Mitch. All right. So people that are the naysayers are going to say, no, it's because, you know, your brain thinks more than you actually think and your peripheral saw that car. That's the reason why. Okay. I'm sure there's some of that there as far as logic, but is there a way we can actually balance the world with that logic and the data and the, and the intuition? And if so, explain that. Yes, you will always get a gut feeling first before you have a thought. The thought, the intellect, and the intuition are two greatest gifts. So the feeling comes in first, and then the intellect is there to help label it, Mitch. So what you want to do is you want to balance it out and always go with what you feel in your gut, as everybody says. It will always start in the gut as not only an emotional feeling, as a thought internally, but a physical feeling. That's how you know okay. it's intuition versus a left brain thought. Left brain thoughts can give us Headaches. Intuition always allows us to feel something physically. Your body will let you know, and as long as you follow that, Mitch, you can't go wrong. Stop thinking everything through so much. I love it. My gut feeling says we're going to have you back there, Vince. So how about that? We love hearing from you. And, of course, you want to find out more about this and other topics, of course, as well as Vincent. You can check out his website. It's vincentjenna.com. Thank you, Vincent.